Hi boys and girls, hope you're all doing well at home. I thought today I would make a little video about making snowflakes. So what you'll need is a bit of paper. You need some glue. If you can put your glue in a squeezy bottle, that would be great. If not, you'll be able to use a stick or a cotton bud. And you also need some salt. Later on, you're going to need a cup of water a paintbrush and some water paints if you've got some of them. If not, you could use food colouring. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to put my glue to move my camera so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to use my glue to make the shape of a snowflake. So I'm going to squeeze it till I can see the glue coming out. And you go all the way up to the top. You can make your snowflake any shape you like. But did you know that real snowflakes are all different shapes? You don't get two snowflakes the same. They all crystallise in different ways. I'm going to do a cross to start with. I'm making mine quite big, but you could make big ones or small ones. Now I'm going to turn my cross into a star. And keep your lines nice and thin if you can. It will work better once it's finished. I think this one, I might give it a circle on the end. And I think I might give it a couple of sticky out arrows like this there that's my snowflake can you see then what i'm going to do is i'm going to get some salt this is quite a big bag you might have a little bottle i'm going to put quite a lot of it on the top of the glue give it a shake 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 you need quite a lot on it to start with. And then when we think it's all dry, we're going to shake all the salt back off again. And hopefully we will be left with the shape of a snowflake. Can you see? I'm putting it all over the top of it. What do you think is going to happen to all the salt when the glue goes hard? There we go. So you can see I've covered all of my glue shape with the salt. Can you see? You need to make sure you keep it flat so that you're not putting salt all over your house. Okay? Then I'm going to leave that to dry for a couple of hours. You might even want to leave it overnight. So I'm going to put that to the side because I have one I made earlier. And it's all dry now. And it looks like this. Can you see? It's all dry and I've shook off all the salt. And what I'm going to do with it now is I'm going to get my brush and my water and I'm going to put it into my paint. And I think I'm going to go for blue just now because blue makes me think of it being really cold outside. And I'm going to put it on top of the salt. Can you see? When I put it on the salt, it all starts to spread. See it spreading through. I think it's so pretty. I might use some other colours. I like the blue. But I think I might use some purple. Oh, let's see. Yeah, let's go for some purple. That's a bit of a cold colour as well, I think. Can you see? spreads all through the salt and you can do the same with yours you can cover it all up until all your colours are all over the snowflake hmm what other colour do you think I could use 
let's go for oh what about a little bit of green we can make lots of different colored snowflakes and you could do all different sizes can you see all the color floods all the way through all the salt salt is soaking it all up There we go, that's mine all done.